Hey there, YouTubian. CJ Holmes here. Just wanted to show you my latest toy. It's a Whedon Model 14 steam engine. And I uh, picked it up on eBay. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive, the reason being that it was missing a lot of stuff. Uh, it was missing the safety valve. It was missing the handle for the whistle. It was missing the connecting rod. It was missing the crosshead, and it didn't have the dummy governor or the drive wheel. It was missing the governor mounting thing. So, I went ahead and fabricated another safety valve. I'll show you that. This uh, Whedon Model 14 was their most popular model, and it was, I don't know when this one was made, but... Uh, anywhere from the 1920s to 1940s or thereabout. So anyway, here's the um, safety valve I made. Really nothing more than, I can take it apart here, a uh, little brass uh, threaded ball. Had that in my little parts pile. And a uh, little cap screw. I don't know what you call it, but I uh, drilled a hole through it. <clears throat> do that little thing and round it off the uh, little opening there to make a little better fit for the ball and also a screw I think that's I don't know, 632 or something screw and a spring and connected it up this way so if you need a safety valve, there's, uh, there's how you can make one. Cool. All right, might be a bit stiff for uh, my needs, but anyway. I also had to um, tap a uh, 5 sixteenths hole. I believe originally both the whistle and the safety valve were quarter-inch threaded, but this one was definitely bigger someone had put a uh, screw in it a round headed screw that fit loosely <clears throat> so anyway went ahead and tapped it and filled it up and also uh, purchased a uh, dummy governor and uh, the little drive wheel i used a rubber band for uh, for the rubber band <laughs> for the belt now let's see what else was wrong with it. Uh, the throttle screw was seized up. I made a uh, replacement throttle screw. The slide valve, turn it around this way, the slide valve was seized. The piston rod was seized. I was able to free those up. Um, I'll show you how the piston goes. I'm sure you can see that. Get it up close here. Can you see the piston moving in there? Yeah. So you can see how the piston and slide valve move. <clears throat> what else? I haven't put a gasket or sealed up the cylinder. I'm sure that'll give it better pressure. It did have the uh, sight glass, which leaks, but uh, I'm not worried about that. And I'll show you in a minute why I'm really not worried about it leaking. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, um, when I went to drill, not drill, but uh, um, solder the uh, steam pipe to the steam dome, I promptly melted the steam dome. <laughs> uh, that's great. So it ended up with a hole and deformed. So I took out some trusty JB Weld and sealed it up with that. I also made the mounting thing out of JB Weld and uh, fabricated a bolt 
and uh, glued it under the JB Weld, and uh, it works great. <clears throat> so, one of the good things about this particular uh, eBay find is that it came with a couple of burners. I made this little mounting board, by the way. Came with a couple of burners, which I don't think are original to this Whedon, but um, they work. Uh, but I'm not going to demonstrate this under steam. I'm going to use compressed air. That's why I'm not really worried about steam leaking everywhere, because uh, we're going to test this one right now with uh, compressed air. And it seems to be happy running at about 10 pounds pressure. So I made up a tube. See here. Uh, tube and... Uh, I uh, took a uh, bolt, 5 16 bolt, and drilled a hole through it. This is probably the shakiest video I've made. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to plug it into my compressor and uh, see if I can get it going. Of course, I've got it completely in a knot. There we go. Okay, I've got it at about 10 pounds. I'm not sure if the whistle is original to this model Whedon or to a Whedon in general. However, works great. Now let's see if we can get the steam engine to work. There it goes. So, if you want to uh, figure out <clears throat> firsthand how a steam locomotive works, how uh, the Titanic reciprocating engines work, uh, there you go. Here's the basic principle of a steam engine. Fire source, either uh, alcohol lamp to heat up the boiler, or compressed air to fill up the boiler, cylinder and slide valve, a little flywheel to keep things going, there's, there's a basic steam engine. One problem I have with it, I can't get it to go in reverse. These things are supposed to go in reverse, but it just likes to go in one direction. I really don't care. The fact that it goes in any direction is... Uh, a major accomplishment for me.
there you go the Whedon Model 14 steam engine hope you enjoyed the video have a nice day